You know bats fly, but have you under, ever wondered whether they walk? There's this amazing study that found that vampire bats can run on the ground. But beyond this, there's very few studies or even general observations about what bats can do on the ground. Now you might be asking, this is a cool question, but why does it matter? Well, bats can end up on the ground accidentally all the time, and their ability to get back up into the air or evade predators and other dangers is related to how easily they can move on the ground. Then for some species, their ability to move on the ground might actually be a critical part of how they interact with their environment. This is the eastern small-footed bat. It's generally considered one of North America's rarest and more mysterious bat species, and its endangered status in Ontario means that there's this push to identify and monitor their critical summer habitat. What's weird about eastern small-footed bats is that they like to roost on the ground, roosts being where bats sleep or rest during the day. And they move these roost sites like rock crevices daily, presumably by flying between sites. What's also weird is that they often have non-flying prey like spiders, crickets, ants, sometimes even soil and gravel in their fecal samples, their poop samples. And we currently assume that this is because bats are scooping up these non-flying prey from the ground while the bat itself is still in flight, or that they're encountering these prey during ground roosting. But what if eastern small-footed bats are actually traveling and foraging directly on the ground? It can mean that we're overlooking a key part of their overall protection. Which is why for my master's research, I decided to test how comfortable these bats actually are on the ground. Basically, I put bats on treadmills. So we borrowed the treadmill from the vampire bat study. Dr. Jeff Dawson and I built a portable setup that had high-speed cameras and a field computer that allowed me to run my trials at night directly in the field. This meant that I was able to catch, run, and release bats without ever taking them out of their environment. And by using infrared lights, I was able to film in the dark, minimizing stress from bright lights. Overall, I ended up getting five terabytes of very cool footage. And several of these bats maxed out the treadmill's top speed of 1.36 kilometers an hour. For context, that is more than one-fourth of the average human's walking speed of five kilometers an hour for a bat that's less than one two hundredth of our size. So is the answer to whether bats are good on the ground actually no, or is it just that we don't know yet? And if these bats are on the ground more than we thought, then what physical, chemical, and other hazards might eastern small-footed bats be facing there that we need to consider and haven't considered in their conservation? Thank you.